Man, honestly, I'm getting so tired of this negative narrative that a lot of these news outlets have been trying to push upon XRP. For example, a lot of different places said that Coinbase was actually delisting XRP when in actuality they were only stopping the trading for a little while until a settlement is officially reached. Because guys, consider this, alright? XRP has up to this point actually officially following the law done nothing wrong. Unless the SEC actually pulls through with this lawsuit and wins, then we're in the wrong. But as long as that does not happen, so for everything that's happening right now, we are in the right. A lot of these exchanges are just delisting or stopping the trading as a precaution, and so are these funds. And now, I kind of feel as if a lot of these news websites just try to make these situations look a lot more worse, a lot just more dire. And one of these news articles came from Cointelegraph. Now, before we get into any of that, make sure you press the like button, subscribe and comment something down below. I know a lot of you guys find it cringe that I keep doing these giveaways and keep talking about them, but they are actually because I started this whole crypto journey because of some crypto giveaway. And we give away about maybe 150-ish on average XRP a week. So it does work, it's just not that often. But again, just check out Discord, ask around. We'll give away $100 worth of crypto if we can get two, no, sorry guys, 1,500 likes in 24 hours. And by the way, check out GSX. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but check it out, link down below. is the first growth coin, and this bonus that you get for, for buying these coins just keeps going down every couple of days or so. I put a couple thousand in. A couple of people said, man, don't do it. A couple of people said, yeah, do it. I checked it out, works like a freaking charm, and the bonus keeps going down. So I'm, I'm happy that I picked some up. And by the way, talking about this one here, basically what it is, is it's a growth coin where the value of the coin is eventually going to be based on the amount of gold or gold-backed assets, or basically assets in gold that they own. So theoretically speaking, since they are reinvesting, at least that's what they've said, they keep reinvesting their money into more gold mining assets, for example, the price of the coin should keep going up as well. For right now, you cannot buy it on any of these places, but they said it's going to be trading there. We cannot know that for certain, which is why there, of course, is a risk involved. But if everything that they say pulls through here, this could be an amazing ROI, which is why I have it. But let's uh, skip out on that. Let's go on. Ripple just posted a video a couple of days ago, which got me excited. Because to me, it's just another kind of reminder that, man, everything here can, can kind of run around Ripple. It can run with Ripple. Now, uh, again, I guess with XRP Ledger, Theoretically speaking, just depending on, of course, what Ripple um, part we're talking about. Since all these companies run on RippleNet, but not all of them actually utilize XRP just quite yet. But also, there's two more things. One, look at how many companies are putting their trust in Ripple, RippleNet, and XRP. And also, really, if you look back into a couple of videos ago, the backing that Ripple has is quite insane and also to a certain degree should be admired. Now, with that idea in mind, I also kind of have the idea of, well, why would the U.S. want to stop this, right? If they're doing all of this and the only thing that they're getting out of it is, you know, some some money as founders of the project themselves, but basically helping out the whole world and them not really acting any different than any other founder of a project because a lot of those guys take money. Again, we cannot say that Jeff Bezos hasn't sold a lot of his Amazon stock. You may say, okay, but Dusty, that is Amazon stock, which is, again, normal to sell because this is right to do so. That is legal. This is, quote, unquote, not I'm just saying, guys, it is not crazy that a founder of a project through some way, shape, or form actually gets compensated. I'm not saying that they should in this way. And once more, if the SEC is right, then, all right, you know, go after Ripple. I'm not trying to say that they shouldn't do that. I'm just saying it's not that crazy that they cash them out. It's just more about what type of funds they used for it, which makes the bigger point if you're talking about cash out. However, that is something that a lot of people are talking about here that actually doesn't make a lot of sense because I think what's more so important to a lot of these sources is the XRP being sold as an investment contract. But already now, my, my quick statement here, you can see that there's conflicting thoughts about what exactly Ripple is doing wrong. Some people say either, some people say both. Some people say neither. Man, the crypto community is divided, but Ripple is going freaking trending all the time here. They're getting so much attention. Maybe it's a bigger plan. Maybe Ripple knew about this all together. A couple of weeks ago, they already said we need clarity. Uh, we need to yada, yada, yada. They said so many things about the SEC and moving across the world. Maybe that sparked a move for them to get sued. Maybe they knew. Maybe they had a deal with Jay Clayton. Who freaking knows? I don't. But I know that it's about to get very freaking big. All right, so uh, talking about this article that we just saw. 
All right, so in Cointelegraph, it says, Grayscale reportedly dumps massive stakes in XRP and XLM. Those two, of course, are the most prominent for being securities as they look a lot like each other and XRP is being sued. Now, even though this might look very bad, it might look very dire, first of all, Grayscale did not respond to any of these requests. And also, if you look at Grayscale's real numbers, it kind of looks like exactly the opposite happened. And they're still holding XRP, so I don't really get exactly what we're talking about here. So um, I actually have to find an older screenshot there. Maybe we can find it on the on the Grayscale official Twitter here so we can quickly compare. If we, for example, were to look right here through their pictures, this is the 29th. Let's look at the XRP amount, 8.6 million. And for Stellar, it is 3.8. If we look at, for example, a day earlier, we got XRP 11.2, so they dumped it right there, and Stellar's 4. So basically they got $0.2 million worth of Stellar and they got rid of about three or some million in terms of XRP. Let's look at that before, 10.3, 3.8. So basically it's just fluctuating fluctuating as time goes. Here, once more, they had some more XRP, 13.7. Uh -uh. Let's see here, 18.6, the Stellar still is still the same one. Let's see here, 20.8, Stellar is up. Okay, so do you guys reckon, all right, just a question for me, that they've been dumping it, for example, since the the 21st, for example, because when was the loss really given out? All right, I kind of sometimes think about that. When was the loss given out? Because Grayscale doesn't actually know about the lawsuit until just a couple of days ago, right? It's not like it's been out for for that long already. I'm just looking at the other ones as well. Zcash here, for example, which they also decreased their position in, so that one makes no sense anymore. Horizon also decreased. I'm looking at Ethereum Classic right now. Ethereum Classic also decreased over these two screenshots. The only one... Now, let's see. Okay, Bitcoin goes up by... 0.2, or I guess I should say 200. Um, and the other one, so Bitcoin Cash goes down. Let's see, Ethereum. Ethereum goes from 1831 to 1805, also goes down. So basically, it's just fluctuating all the time. It's not like they're really dumping it deliberately, I personally think. All right, I actually think the lawsuit came in quite a lot later than when they were already getting rid of some. And as you can see, they just fluctuate all the time. I, I personally think here, they're not necessarily getting rid of XRP. Otherwise, they would have most likely gotten rid of XRP quite heavily instead of what they're doing right now. You know, and, and here 8.6 is left, but look at the day change. I'm kind of wondering, does this day change represent their, their personal holdings value? Or does that mean the amount that they bought, right? I'm assuming it actually means the... The, the, or is it just the holdings per share? Because here's the market price per share, which changes. Hmm, I might actually actually look that up a little bit better and get you guys a, a better answer. We can check out the article though, because I personally think they're creating a, a negative, or at least more negative narrative than necessary, but we might have to deviate from our opinion. Let's quickly check it out. Grayscale Investments, the world's largest digital asset manager. Um, oh yeah, digital asset manager. I thought like, what? They're not a big asset manager, but digital assets has reportedly dumped a significant portion of its XRP and XLM holdings. Data from Bybit, a cryptocurrency futures trading platform, revealed that Grayscale's XRP holdings declined by more than 9 million on December 29th, bringing its total position to 26.45 million XRP, worth 5.77 million at press time. Um, so let's quickly check. How can we fact check this? How can we know exactly how much they have? Hmm, because this is the screenshot that they've given us, which has a 8.6 million. Mm. Hmm. I do not know. I do not know how we can check that out. Hmm. That's kind of difficult. Where did where did they get this from then? On the same day, Grayscale reportedly liquidated over nine million Stellar Lumen, bringing its total to nine point nineteen million or one point two million dollars at today's prices. Grayscale's assets under management currently sit at nineteen point twenty six billion. Let's quickly check that out as well. This one says 18.8. Uh, so maybe there's a screenshot here that I don't know about. <coughs> nice little sneeze for you. All right, I'm going to keep that in. Let's quickly check maybe the Grayscale website I can see it on. Let me quickly see if they have somewhere on here the amount of investments that they have. Um, Start investing maybe? I have no idea where we can find this, but it's just, to me, kind of strange that I can never find or not find at all exactly how much they have. Um, okay, that's not the one we're looking for. Can we find it here? Maybe all products? Maybe it's going to be in there, their, their little document with how much they have? No, this is from the, okay, this is a little while ago here. Uh, uh, um, yeah, you can actually see how much they got here. Uh, 
It's a 2.5% fee even. What? Why would people buy this type of stuff? I don't get it at all. Why people would buy this? It's so stupid anyway. Let's see, there's a double quotation, or there's a double asterisk. The Great School XRP Trust private placement is currently closed. Huh. So it's actually been closed then for quite a while then, or what? Hmm, that is interesting. XRP is closed, huh? This is a couple months ago that this came out. This is the, the 30th of the 9th. Wow, your US way of writing that is a little bit annoying. Uh, this is only a two-page document, though. Hmm. Okay, this is very annoying. How can I find that, guys? Where exactly should it be in? Insights. Let's see. Maybe they update themselves every single day? No. None of this is updated on the last of the last. Where can we find it? I've checked, by the way. Not, it's not like I'm just checking it for the first time now. I checked everywhere, but I just couldn't find it. Uh, so maybe somebody uh, can not find it and, and just tell me somewhere. Single asset. Maybe here. Maybe we could just press XRP like that. Oh, hey, we're not getting any update here either on the exact holdings that they have. You're just seeing all the the, the bigger picture behind it. Let's see here. XRP holdings per share. Holdings per share. The holdings per share has gone down. Okay. Hmm. So the 25th has just gone up. Okay, let's quickly check price, right? Because this is November 25th. Holdings per share. XRP holdings per share. Is this a per amount of XRP? What can we see the amount of XRP that they have? Because what we can say is, well, maybe the XRP price was up ridiculously much here, so it changes. Like, for example, here was also crazy. Let me just quickly compare. So, we're talking here about the 25th. If I'm not mistaken, I think the price was very high back then. I'm also trying to figure it out a little bit with you guys here. I wanted to do a live stream, but I couldn't because, oh my god, am I freaking tired today, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not normal <laughs> how, how tired I am. So, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, let's quickly check here. The 25th was a huge day for XRP. We were definitely up quite high at about 70 cents or so. Let's quickly check on a little bit further. And the time it dropped was the 24th of December here. Most likely the big doom day, yeah? So yeah, the 24th here, the 23rd, 20, the, the 23rd even is when it actually dropped like crazy. And the day afterwards, theirs dropped. So it should have actually been the 23rd. It was the 24th. Hmm. Oh, all yeah. right, it already actually dropped from the 18th on forward to the 21st on forward. So that's actually also fine. Everything does seem to look quite logical, though, if you if you ask my uh, ask me. I think this just has to do with the amount of dollars that XRP is worth as well in comparison to how much a stock is worth. It actually doesn't really say how much they have or exactly how they're thinking about it. I think they would have just, you know, gotten rid of their ideas about XRP completely. Let's see here. They have 93.9 XRP per share. There's 20, 280,000 XRP shares outstanding. Is there just a number which you can easily find? Um, let's see here. There's two asterisks there. Grayscale XRP Trust does not currently operate a redemption program and may halt creations from time to time. The trust may but will not be required to seek regulatory approval to operate a redemption program. Valuation represents the XRP holding of the trust as of August 31st, 2020. So that actually also does not matter at all. This has no relevance whatsoever unless we, I guess... Um, Huh. We use this. No, this, this all doesn't matter. I want to say we use these shares outstanding with a different XRP per share, but we don't know how many shares are outstanding. So how can they know? How do they have these insights, which I cannot find? Maybe I'm just stupid, though. I mean, I have an IQ of maybe five. So maybe some big brained guy in the comment section will be able to spot it out and tell me. But I just think that this guy, these guys are over overcharging them by saying, yeah, they've dropped everything. They're letting it go without giving any sources. Let's see here. Buy a bit. Let's see if they have any source. See if they have any source as to what is happening exactly. Here you have Grayscale Investment Holdings. Now, how they got this, hmm, I do not know. And also, to a certain degree, let me quickly see here. So, they have 26.46 million XRP total holdings. So, where does it show then the XRP went down? Because they sold here, it kind of looks like one, two, three, one, two, three, nine million. But did they have more than this before then? Huh, let's see what the article said here again. I'm just trying to figure it out with you guys as well. Bring it down. Okay, so they had 35 million then before. Let's see their Twitter, what they what it wrote right here. So the 29th yesterday, we can just wait, by the way, for them to post a screenshot on here. Maybe they'll just post it in a couple of hours from now. I'm just wasting my time. Because I think it usually gets posted about four hours from now. 
So if it's already up by the time I'm uploading this video, well, stupid me, I guess it should maybe go back to uh, to somewhere, like my uh, get out of my basement. So it has an $8.6 million valuation here, and they turned it down, hmm, let's see, what was the freaking thing, to 5.77. Hmm, we should also compare the rest then, let's quickly see. So Bitcoin has gone up quite significantly. The amount of coins I cannot see. Apparently, it also has gone down. They've just gotten rid of everything. But especially XLM and uh, XRP makes it look like. In valuation, though, it's kind of hard to say. Because, of course, um, a lot of these other ones have a way higher valuation per coin. So, for example, it's not that crazy that they're letting go of quite a lot less Bitcoin cash when the valuation is so much higher. Valuation per share, by the way. Look at that. Look at what they've done here. So, it kind of does make it look... It's even... You know, it's still better than Bitcoin, though. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out the full story here. What's going on? They're just increasing their buys. They're not letting go of XRP completely. They might just be unloading a lot of freaking XRP as they have done so over a 30-day period. But this one wouldn't make a lot of sense regardless of the situation because everything should have kind of been... Wait, actually, in the last seven days, they, they have only sold it once, right? I have no idea what's going on here, guys. This is so confusing. What's happening? Because over the last seven days, it's been exactly the same thing. I'm scratching my head a little bit. They just have a strange strategy. But maybe it's also because of their bigger picture, right? Maybe it doesn't actually show much. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the situation. I find it a very, very sticky one. I kind of am against Cointelegraph for making it up so quickly. I think we should wait for some, some heavier stuff to come out. But um, I think it might actually be edited soon here to make it a less offensive tone. On the contrary, they're just reporting on what they found out themselves, right? They cannot do too much about it either because they, they all they did is just show what they found by Bybit, by BT, and show what they have shown. And this could be the truth. The only question is, is it really relevant? Is it really the case? And is it not just a usual thing? That's difficult to say. We can also kind of check how much Z Classic is worth and kind of compare it and see if they really got rid of much more on that regard. I do not know. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. So they got rid over the last month of about 5 million XRP. The week, about 9 million. So last week, I guess they were still buying some to kind of compensate for that then. They could have stopped and sold now. It could be. Hmm. Could have been. Maybe they have some bigger picture plan, though. I mean, maybe maybe they're, they're getting rid of XRP. I don't know. It's not going to be crazy if they do. But I just saw a lot of you guys being angry on Twitter saying, well, Cointelegraph shouldn't do it that way. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if it's fair or not. Cannot say. Can definitely not say. I wonder what they... F okay, let's see this one. How can Ripple continue with XRP as a security? If Ripple can sell digital assets, how can there be liquidity at a preferred exchange to run RippleNet? If you give away a one-on-one -on -one token that runs a Ripple Net under a different corporation, that's how. Flare Spark, mother... So I think this is a very stupid comment. It makes no sense. It's like, well, if you have a one-on-one -on -one token, then you could use anything, basically. I mean, we talk about GSX sometimes, right? But that's a gold-backed token. But it's really not a one-to-one -one type of scenario, as it is one-to-one, -one, you could say, to its assets. But then again, it's not, because those assets have a way higher valuation than what you're talking about. So the only thing we're talking about here is just a stable coin, but then a stable coin on XRP or something that has the same value of XRP or what? I don't really get how that makes sense for that to just be a replacement then. It makes no that makes no sense. Why would that be the case? It would still be the same security then if it were to be created like that. If it's one to one to the exact same thing, it's still a security, I think at least, in my opinion. Uh, but the thing is though, I think XRP would just operate outside of the US without any issue. There would still be liquidity and everything. So the question already is kind of, you know, strange. Leonidas here said, I wonder what they folks at Grayscale know as they increased their XRP holdings 8% yesterday. So maybe that's actually why people are kind of, you know, strange about the situation as for right now, for today, they got rid of some potentially, right? Because that's the 24 hours. But maybe over the longer period of time, they actually bought some, which totaled out to be, for example, B0. As again, a lot of people are saying they, they've just been buying. A little bit. I mean, it kind of looks like they've been purchasing everything, but I don't know how we can see XRP specifically here on this website to look a little bit better into what they've been doing on that regard. I have no idea how they also got this metric. We can only see in a couple of hours from now when Gray School actually posts their official update explaining to us exactly how much they have and, and everything regarding that. But 
I don't think the funds like to get rid of XRP because, of course, it brings them in money, but I also don't think they really care, and I also think don't think that it's actually going to be a bigger issue over a longer period of time, by the way. So, yeah, he's saying, or she's saying, flares the issue. XRP Dia says, found this on Giotis. Indian exchange currently trading Flare Spark. It's at 16.7 Indian rupee per token, which is about 30 or 0.34 Canadian dollar or 0.27 US dollar. It was $100 December 4, 2020. Healthy enough number. Well, all I have to say is here that you can actually get quite a lot of, um, sorry, 19.7, low math got messed up. Doesn't really matter. Let's just say it's a freaking 0.27 cents or 0.27 dollars. I mean, guys, so 27 cents. You can actually make a lot of freaking money then because it's actually worth more than XRP is. So now with that idea in mind, I should have actually gone to Giotis and deposited my XRP. Uh, now again, has no use. But that means that every XRP you had has just kind of been doubled with even more than in this sense, which is really crazy. It shouldn't be that way. But that means we might actually be able to double our money if because Bitru is still coming out with this relatively soon here. Uh, let's quickly see. Bitru said, check your Flare wallet, folks. The first distribution of Spark can now be seen. It's a 15% of the total you'll receive over the next three years. You can't do much with it yet, but you'll be able to trade with, with XRP starting January 2nd, uh, 6th. Note, as Flare currently has no trading pairs, it will be listed in your assets page with zero value, and it will not show up at the top of your asset list. Please scroll down as you hit Flare alphabetically to see the amount of Flare you own. And again, 15% of the tokens is already pretty big, though. I kind of find. Oh, wait. Leonidas said you did not account for the XRP in the power piggy. Ooh. Huh. Maybe. I do not know too much about that. All I know is, guys, that you can get flair on your balance already on a couple of exchanges. But, this again is Spark. It will not be the real Spark. Flare just posted, please be aware, any distributions by exchanges of Spark that happen prior to the Flare network launching, which is expected in Q2 of 2021, are simply IOUs issued by that exchange to you. It basically just means that the exchange will back you up for it, but it doesn't really mean that it is the case that they already have it. And Fiat League just posted, XRP holders will still be eligible for the Flare Network's airdrop of Spark tokens on Coinbase. Coinbase is suspending rather than delisting. Hence, the exchange will wait out the lawsuit. And everything as of this point is looking very good. Fiat League is a very nice website. I'm going to quickly follow them. They have a lot of good insights and a lot of good stuff. Now, if you guys could just help me out with this grayscale situation. I've been trying to figure it out for such a long while, but I just do not understand. I just do not know. Why are people so angry that they're saying this when they've... At least the way it looks like on this specific website that they quoted literally talked the price down. I, I saw a lot of people being angry about this. So let's quickly go back to the tweet which we first started with. This is Grayscale's last update, which is a positive one. Um, they just adjusted the market. They dumped 9 million XRP. It's value, not holdings, which is true. But here you can also see the holdings that they have. So you can, again, kind of relate to it then. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think they just sold some, right? Once more, it's not, also not crazy, by the way. It's not a bad thing whatsoever. I'm just trying to update you guys with exactly what's happening, and I just didn't get the full picture. But we can actually kind of assume that this is legit. Uh, it also wouldn't be crazy for them to unload this, because it's logical that you want to be less exposed to something that risky. But I guess we'll see within the next couple of days, guys, as things roll by. XRP got a little bit of hope again. We got some hope for somewhere in February. It's looking pretty damn good. But guys, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe and i will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video take care everybody and let's hope that spark is going to be our spark in our lives pretty much soon